Hello out there world, my name's Chris. I'm retired working for you and I'm hungry. Hope you're hungry. If you're not, you're gonna be hungry by the end of this video. Does anyone know what these are? These are banana blossoms. So you got a banana salesman here. And look at this. They, they, they make the blossom that hangs under the banana and they turn it into a banana blossom salad. If you've never ordered that here in Thailand, give it a try. Anyways, I'm uh, walking down this street here, a nice local street with a nice local restaurant that I've been missing. Maybe this one? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> I, I thought I ordered Papa Kung, but she brought this. <laughs> so it's not Papa Kung for sure. <laughs> a mystery meal. Yeah, it's okay. Sometimes I like it. Kuka, Chiaraika, Moving Pao, Moving Pao, Moving Pao. Mystery solved. <laughs> We got uh, the Nam Prik Pao Mook Rub. The Mook Rub, you can see, is the uh, crispy pork belly. It's all stir-fried together. You saw the man working his magic. Um, the difference here, this Nam Prik, it's like a, a sweet chili paste that is uh, filled with a variety of different stuff. There's different brands, different people may have their own recipes, some roasted vegetables and chilies inside. This one has some basil. Some people to put different stuff in there. It's got onions, chilies, basil, and the crispy pork. So let's give it a taste and see how it see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh yeah. Sweet and savory chilies. And um, 
the crispy pork is something that I've fallen in love with. You can see there's some chili in there, so it definitely has some spice to it. I don't know if you can hear, but behind me, the sound of more going in for the next person into the walk. With a nice classic Thai eatery. Mmm. This is really nice. Let's try and figure out what happened with Haley's order. I got a little bit shy, so I just kind of pointed out the. It looks like some kind of vegetable dish, like a papakung, morning glory, stir fry morning glory. But she brought this. Uh, it is a uh, um, prick pao mu. So it's uh, similar to yours, but they didn't use uh, mu grok, they used a smoo. Uh, pork. Oh, the bar, the sliced yeah, barbecue sliced pork, pork here. Yeah. And you got a kai dao. Kai dao. Oh, a little <laughs> kai dao on so, top. Yeah. Um, sometimes it happens in Thailand. You pointed out something, and then they should bring something else. It's all good. Well, I love it. Well, we're about to find <laughs> out if it's all good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Time to dig <laughs> in. Have you ever tried this one, Haley? No, it's time. I actually my first time. First time trying okay. it, let's see, let's just hold that fork up. Oh, there it goes, right in. Mmm, it is really good. Sweet, savory, and a little bit of spicy. And then the, the pork is really tasty. Mm. And you don't usually eat a lot of pork. No, no. So this is new for Haley. Mm. Oh, then the basil with the um, pork and a little bit of on onion. Oh yeah, you can't stop her. Mm. She's going in, she's made a happy accident today. No, yeah. it's really good. So Haley likes her surprise meal, this is good. And then they give you this soup with it too. It looks like a braised beef. Yeah, that's just a nice hearty beef broth, really. And then a big chunk of braised beef. Mm. Got some bone. Got some bone in there, but mm, tender. Nice flavor there on the soup. The lunch rush is, is kind of finished up. It's just an old couple who runs this place. And this place is representative of so many of the local Thai restaurants that you find all over Bangkok, all over Thailand. And yeah, when you look around, like you, you see it's not maybe the most sparkly clean sort of environment in here. And I get a lot of comments from you guys out there who talk about these types of places and some of them are, are ridiculous like oh that guy bet that place gives you diarrhea oh think of the bacteria of the street food that you're eating and how's your stomach feel after that and i gotta say if you're not giving these places a fair shake then you're selling your thailand experience short these are the best thailand lunches that you can enjoy and and those out there you some of you know exactly what i'm talking about and I used to be scared of these places. They used to kind of give me these thoughts like I'm gonna kind of end up with a grumbly stomach and maybe, maybe every now and again it happens. I've been living here for three years or so, just over three straight years and been visiting for ages, but in the three straight years here, I've probably had a little minor stomach problem from, from food, maybe once a year. It's certainly not a common thing to come into a place like this and expect to wake up the next day married to your toilet bowl or anything like that. So how many times do you yeah, think you've had stomach troubles, Haley, eating here? For three years, once. And it wasn't really food poisoning. It was more like I was, in, I was kind of under the weather. And then the food didn't agree with me, kind of. Deal. We eat this kind of place all the time. Those of you that are out there that may kind of shy away from this, don't. Give it a try, enhance your Thai experience. I just wanted to share that with all of you. 
as we finish up here and then get the bill and see how much or how little it costs. So, Louis easy, but Thai mai? Louis easy. All right, Louis right. easy. Thank you. Thank you. There it is. There's the little kitchen right there. So, 120 baht total for both dishes. So, 60 baht for each dish. 60 baht each dish, right, Haley? Yeah. So, that's pretty great. Um, that's less than two bucks, about a buck 80 per dish, and that was enough for us to. Uh, Fill up.